All right, we're live. Um, hi, I'm, I'm Michael. This is a, a continuation of a stream I stopped a little over an hour ago, I think. It turned out the, um, the palm rest I had got from Parts People was just a different revision. It was for a slightly different model than, uh, than what the client had. The difference was the, uh, the location of these two posts right here. This one was different. There's a little difference here. Also, the height of the M.2 for this one right here. Uh, the adapter for the M.2 was uh, was a little bit different. Um, so I I have the correct one now. So now we can continue. We begin by putting in the palm rest. He's right there, and then this guy sits on top. And then seven screws, yeah, seven screws. Let's see, so yeah, microphone's good. Sorry, wasn't sure if I turned it on. Good. Buttons are clicky. Looks like you could go that way a little bit. There's a bit of a gap on this side. I'm gonna loosen these. So subtle. Okay. So they're loosened. So we can move it. Probably won't be perfect. And it's not like you're going to see it, be able to see this gap once it's in. You can see it right now because I can see light from the other side, which that won't be the case. So I'm just going to get it relatively centered and then. Screw it back down. Okay, how about now? Looks good, feels good. Okay. Uh, motherboard. Let's put the motherboard in. Yeah, okay. So the first problem I noticed before, which wasn't a, a, a game, you know, a killer, was this right here, this post was a little bit out of alignment on the uh, the other palm rest. That looks good. All right, two screws holding the motherboard. I had this most of the way back together before I realized the, the killer uh, mismatch over here on the left fan. I had to undo it, now I'm redoing it. When I talked to the guys at Parts People, they said that... Um, they had uh, just noticed here recently in the last week that there were um, differences in uh, in the palm rest for for this model. And again, it's, so it's a G G3 uh, 3500 from Dell. Um, so yeah, we went over the, the differences while I was uh, I was there picking up the the replacement. All right, so let's get the trackpad cable in. 
and down keyboard. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. So that's the main keyboard. This is the um, LEDs, LED cable for the LED lights on the keyboard. In and down. Okay. Speakers. So that goes over there. This comes over here. There's a track that you have to put the cable through, or wires. It's to come this way a little bit. Everybody in. Right. Okay. There's a speaker cable. Okay. All right. What next? Let's do the IO board. all of them in and I'll go back and tighten them down and then it's got an IO cable that comes over and connects right here from the motherboard thing goes down to hold it in place. All right. Guess we can go ahead and put back in the, the drive carrier. So this would be for if you uh, you had a two and a half inch drive. And 
that's three screws. All right. Um, I guess we can go about putting in the, um, the solid state drives. So there is a solid state drive in here all, already, and I believe it's a one terabyte. It's a, a really short drive. Keoxia, it's a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. The one we're adding is a, a one terabyte um, drive. Let me see. No, that's not right. I was I was thinking that this would go there and it will not. So I'm not. No wait a minute. I was looking at the wrong thing. The Wi-Fi goes there. So I was going to add a um, a solid state drive, a one terabyte, but it looks like we've got to do a um, a replacement of the of the original drive. So what I'm going to do is. Um, clone the data on here to the new one terabyte. Yeah, because this right here, this is for the for the Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, we'll put that in a little bit. Okay, what next? Let's put on the the display. four screws to deal with. I was putting it in the wrong hole. This screw goes here, and then the second screw goes on that one. up the display cable it just clicks down like that and the Wi-Fi needs to go underneath the cooler let's go ahead and put back the DC jack Plug 
them right here and you'd use the tab on it to pull it into place. Okay, uh, let's put the cooler on. And I, repla I already replaced the thermal compound. Okay, so I'm going to get them all started, then I'll go back and tighten them down. And these are supposed to do in an order, and the order is written on here. It's, let's see, where is one? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I messed up. The Wi Fi cable is supposed to go under here. Will you go through? Yes. Don't get caught. It's caught on something. Okay, I messed up. Okay, lift it up just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it was caught right there. All right. Do that again. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the Wi Fi. That's the SSD. This is Wi-Fi. They look so similar. So if you're doing this um, and you've got two, two wires, it doesn't matter which one you connect to which. There's one black and one white. The white one is the main one. It's the most important, but it's not uncommon for Wi-Fi adapters in laptops and sometimes in desktops too to only have one antenna lead going to them, and that's okay. As long as you plug it into the main one, you're good. So then we can lay that down and put the sky over the top. So this bracket, not only does it hold down the Wi-Fi adapter, it also makes sure that the uh, antenna leads don't pop out. All right. Uh, let's do the fans. That's the right fan. And that's meant to kind of go under there, is it? That's okay. So two screws hold down each fan. Hey Felix. What is it about? This this is a continuation of what I was what I was doing uh, a little over an hour ago. I had to go get a a, a different uh, palm rest. The one from the previous stream earlier today was just not correct. There was a couple of problems, which I'm actually getting to the, the main one. On the other one, whenever I went to put this fan in, the places where the screws go were not correct, and the fan wouldn't even go in. It was just a different revision of the palm rest. Same model number. 
but different revision. And the revision that I was looking at whenever um, I figured we could put two, um, two SSDs in here was not correct. The revision I was looking at before had two M.2 solid state drives, one here and one here. This one only has one. So we're going to be replacing this 256 gigabyte. We're going to clone everything on here onto the, uh, the new um, one terabyte drive. And it'll fit right there. And actually, we can go ahead and install that. Or should I do it a different way? Should I do it where I do the cloning to this externally? That would probably be the best way to go about it. But I do need to move over this guy here from the original palm rest. It's a little adapter piece. It goes right under here and gives you a screw hole to put this guy in. So this is a 32 millimeter, I believe it is, SSD. Yeah, so I need a screw to put that in. Here we go. And it's got a little copper piece that goes over it. So you do that. And that. Cool. And that is meant to go down into that little recess like that. Uh, let's put the battery back. Like that, and two screws. put back in, I don't think. So like that. And we didn't move the RAM, it's still in there. We kept it in, in place. All right. So this has got plastic that kind of wraps around over here. that. I'm not going to put this thing back completely together. I'm not going to screw it in fully just because we're going to have to open it back up after we do the clone. Um, but we'll put a few screws in and tighten some down. Specifically the hinge screw. that one in for sure. I'll go ahead and put that one down. And this hinge. And just so the front doesn't come up, we'll put a couple. see adapter ah, looks like it's coming on now as soon as I gave it power back it's booting into Windows good so the the one terabyte drive what I'm going to do is hook it up externally. I should have. Where's my. Where's my NVMe adapter? I was using it earlier. Actually, 
took it to a client's place to recover their files. Uh, hang on, let me go. Let me go find the adapter. I'll be right back, Felix, and anyone else who's watching. All right. So yeah, here it is. So it's just a, it's an M.2 NVMe to USB. Stick it in there at a 30 degree angle. Push it down. And put the cover on. Okay, so it recognized the drive. I need to get this thing on my Wi-Fi, though, and also move my camera to a tripod. So it's a it's a Samsung drive, and Samsung makes their migration software where you can um, you can clone everything from your original drive over to the replacement. Thing is, I'm not sure that's going to work with this uh, with this adapter. But we'll give it a try. All right, we're online. Let's go do a Google search. Ugh, Bing. The client set me up a, a separate admin account so I could do things like this. All right, Google. All right, so we need Samsung migration software. Uh, yeah, that looks right. Samsung Mag Magician and Migration Tools. All right, not the Magician. The Magician software is great after you've got it installed. It, uh, it monitors the solid state drive and uh, it can do uh, diagnostics and things like that. But we want the Migration software. I think I launched it twice. Yep, sorry about that, Samsung. Okay, language English. Next, accept, next, install. If this doesn't work, we'll use uh, Macrim Reflect. Okay, so the, the drive we want to copy from the source drive is the Keoxia 256 target drive. It is a Samsung SSD 981 terabyte. Great, this looks like it's going to work. So at this point, you just have to click start, and it'll, it'll get going. 
So it says after it's after the data migration is done, it will turn the computer off, allowing you to then swap out the drive. And it also warns you that um, anything you have open during this process probably won't be copied. So the idea behind that is just close as much as you can. Don't have anything open that really doesn't need to be open. All that's fine. This is like NVIDIA stuff and some kind of Steel Series GG stuff from probably Dell. Okay, yeah, so it's just a, a waiting waiting game at this point for it to copy everything over. So what we're what we're doing though is we're replacing the client's original keyboard and um, palm rest. So this key right here was completely you know blown out the queue, and the rest of the keyboard feels a little bit on the wonky side. So he wanted that replaced, which we did. That necessitates taking the, the entire thing apart because everything in the laptop fits onto the bottom of the palm rest. And uh, aside from that, we're Upgrading the 256 terabyte or gigabyte, sorry, um, solid state drive to a one terabyte drive. And the, the migration software, what it does is it clones everything from the original drive to the new drive. So all of this stuff will be there and work. He'll just have about four times the amount of uh, space on his drive. There is one other place to add a drive to this computer, and it's the two and a half inch drive. Um, if he wants to do that, we can put him in, you know, as big a hard drive as he wants. Um, well, two terabytes is, is, I think, the most you can get in a laptop hard drive. But um, if he wants another solid state drive, we can do that. And we just need the um, the cable that leads from the drive to the motherboard. It's not included with the uh, with the laptop, but I don't imagine that's too expensive. We can actually look at that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Let's do some research. Okay, so this this is the um, this is the palm rest that uh, that I ended up having to go back and get. Luckily, the guys are here in Austin, so it was just like a, a 20 minute trip. All right, Google search for a G3 3500. I'm not typing on the right keyboard. <laughs> Where's the right keyboard? Come here, keyboard. G3, 3500, 2.5 inch cable. I'm thinking we'll bring it up. Not a DC jack. New hard drive cable connector for G3. That's probably correct. Let's go back here though to the parts people G3 3500 upgrades for hard drives. Yeah, let's look in there. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's solid state drives. Lots of solid state drives. Okay, but we really need the cable. All right, so. Um, Motherboard and I.O. cable. All right, touchpad. No, that's not it. Where would it be? I really think that's it. That that very much looks like it. Thirty-five bucks is too expensive, though. Uh, 
That's more like it. So SATA hard drive cable for a G5 3500, yes. 13 bucks. Okay, and they, they may have one at parts people. Um, let me see. Looking for a Dell part number. I'm not seeing it. Okay, but for 13 bucks, so uh, we, we'd then be able to add him a, a two and a half inch drive to the to the laptop if he needs more storage. Switch back to POV. Um. It's still sitting at zero percent. That's that's not unusual. Sometimes it'll it'll sit there for a long time before it actually gets going. It's one of the aggravations of the Samsung migration software. Yeah, it works pretty good, but stuff like that I don't like. It's been there. It's been sitting there for five minutes according to the timer on it, and it hadn't done anything. See if we can get his screen a little bit clean. I'm actually going to hit it with some some air first. Sorry, I bumped y'all. I'm surprised no one has said you missed a spot. Yeah, a bunch of debris came out of the uh, the keyboard when I was doing the replacement. That's most of what this is, but there's a couple of spots on here that are like dried on stuff. Okay. Not perfect, but much improved. Hmm. Really? Almost nine minutes in, it still says zero percent. Surely it's doing something. Let's let's check. Uh, let's check Task Manager. <laughs> what are you doing? More details. So that was Control Shift Escape for anyone who uh, who was wondering how I did that. Control Shift Escape. The CPU is doing something. The SSD is showing nothing. What is the CPU doing? Processes. Okay, well, the data migration software is using 23-ish percent of the CPU, so it must be doing something important. Although I'm pretty close to just downloading Macri and Reflect and using it. Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. There is something. BitLocker encryption. Is this thing encrypted? Device encryption. It is. Okay. I think that's why it's not progressing. Okay, so we're quitting out of that. And we're, we, we need to de-encrypt the drive in order to make this happen. Then we'll re-encrypt um, the new one when we put it in. But yeah, disk encryption and uh, cloning software rarely play nice together. I'm having to end task out of this. It didn't even want to spend to suspend. Okay, so we are turning off disk encryption. Yes, I understand. Hopefully this won't take too long. If anyone has any questions, anyone watching or needing help with something like uh, a computer build or some problem they're having, uh, please do chime in and chat. Oh, you know what? Let's let's go look at GPUs. From what I understand, GPU prices have uh, have really fallen. And I think yesterday, a guy I I follow, Brett, on YouTube, or no, it was Jay talking about it. And I think Brett mentioned it after the fact. Jay of Jay's Two Cents um, did a video um, about Nvidia officially lowering the MSRP for a lot of things. Let's check Newegg. What is an RTX 3080 going for? Oh, go away. Pop up from Newegg? I'm trying to type. 3080. Oh, nice. 10 gigabyte version is going for 800, and this Asus Tough is going for 1100. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Oh no, this is a TI also. The TI between that and the uh, the two extra gigabytes, that's what you're paying for. But yeah, this is great. Not two months ago, this the, these things were you know double that cost, if not more. What about a 3070? So 580 for the non-TI and the TI version is 780. Okay, I'd probably go for the non-TI in that uh, in that scenario, just because the extra 200 bucks, I don't think it actually buys you 200 dollars worth of um, performance. And this description is going to take a while. I can tell. It's uh, it's it's still a very uh, very sliver. Goliath Gaming. Yeah, nice nice to see prices come down. Over here in Sweden, they cost the same as a few months ago. Hopefully, just a delay. Yeah, and, and your your prices over there will go down. I imagine so. What about used prices over in Sweden? Have you looked at that? Have they started to come down? Goliath Gaming. What time is it right now in Sweden anyway? Yeah, 
yeah, hopefully, hopefully the um the prices will come down over there for you all as well. One twenty four a.m. Wow. Okay. I I get a, I get quite a few people from um from Europe tuning in. That's late though. So is it the, the end of your day, or are you just getting started? Or somewhere in the middle, for that matter, right? Goliath Gaming? It is uh, 6.25 p.m. I'm in Round Rock, Texas. Pretty close to the center of the state. End of day, but you're on vacation. Nice. Did you catch the uh, the install of the, the the part at the beginning of the stream? One of the things I like about YouTube um, live streaming is you can actually go back and uh, and watch the beginning of the stream before the stream ends. You can jump around. I've actually done that a couple of times. While I was on a stream, I needed to like refer back to what I did before because I couldn't remember. You knew this channel? Okay. Did it just show up in your like For You page or something? Or were you searching for it? Something having to do with uh, Dell's um, palm rests and solid state drives. Yeah. So that that decryption um, <laughs> status uh, it has has not changed. It might have added a pixel. Of width, but it's it's going to be a long time. You looked up the 5700X and saw it. Okay, so did you did you see a different tutorial that I had put up, or, or was this live stream that came up? A different video yeah I've been doing live streams for the last like month and a half to two months haven't really been putting up any like just edited complete videos there's lots of them though um, if you want to look, want to look back on the uh, on the channel there's there's tons of stuff the client let him know that uh, this is gonna be a while I wasn't expecting to be cloning his drive the plan was to um, add the other uh, one terabyte drive to the system but this revision of this particular laptop doesn't have uh, doesn't have a second uh, m.2 slot on it So Felix, I've been doing this for two months. I guess you look back. At two months sounds about right.
this revision of the laptop doesn't have a second M.2 slot, period. What I'm doing is cloning everything from the 256 gigabyte drive over to the one terabyte, period. If you want more storage, we can put in a two and a half inch solid state drive, whatever capacity you want. All right, but I think I'll cut the stream there. Um, after this uh, decryption gets done, I would run the uh, migration software again, Samsung migration software. Um, that will clone everything over from the 256 gigabyte drive to the one terabyte. And then it's just a matter of opening it back up, taking out the 256 M.2 drive, putting in the, the one terabyte drive, and then screwing it back together. But yeah, the, the race this is going is going to take all night to decrypt the drive. But yeah, thanks uh, thanks for coming and watching, guys. Um, if you want to see the the whole process, it, it at the beginning of the stream that's that's it was it was completely apart. Uh, the the previous stream was me taking it apart and then trying to put it back together, and then it didn't work out because the uh, grim narrator, hey, how you doing? Because the um, the palm rest that I originally got was a different revision. By any chance did you get my Gmail? Yes, I did, but I wasn't able to uh, to watch the video. See, I tried to do it on my phone. Let me let me see if I can. Uh, hang on a second. Let me see if I can get in. And watch it on a computer. Yeah, it's working. Well, it's trying to. It's doing some circling. Let's see if we can download it. Sorry about the mouse pad. Let's see. Hello. Sorry it took so long. Uh, well, I was trying to turn a flashlight for both of me. This is my computer. I have no idea what this is. Or what this uh, chip right here is. That's the graphics card. Uh, Sarah Barber told me that this was the flash, that this was the graphics card. Yep. And then my mother board the very back. To me, this is a complicated, almost like a puzzle. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about like, putting in a new motherboard because I, when I took, uh, when I tried to put in my new hard drive, I took off the RAM. <laughs> I thought this was the RAM. It was probably a little more. I guess I need to blow it off with some disk cleaner. The hard drive is probably no underneath there. It feels like I'm not from like watching a few videos, such as that. Power, sp power supply is under there, yes, and the, the hard drive is usually under there, yeah. So, this is my computer. I have no idea what this big chip is, and I don't like the fact that this thing likes to like, bend a lot, but yeah, she's a little dusty. It is, it's a bit of like a mess. 
At least in my opinion, I don't know what these things are or what they're supposed to be for. That where you, that's where you could add more drives uh, to the computer. When I talk to them, that I area over there. Change these fans out for a liquid cooling unit. Don't do that. They don't. Told me not to worry about it because it stands off the ground. Well, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Stands on its own pegs. Eh. Yeah. Don't do liquid cooling. It's it's not significantly better cooling, and it's uh, there's more things to go wrong. Um, so Grim, you you were saying you were thinking about replacing your power supply. Was uh, were you having a problem with the computer? I, I don't remember. I remember what what was what's the reason for possibly replacing the motherboard? I don't remember if I had talked to you about that in a previous stream or not. The crashing. Okay, what was is it is it crashing just kind of randomly when playing games or anything video related? Am I am I remembering the right issue? Oh, you show crashing. Okay, cool. All right, let's let's go to the six minute mark then. Where are we at? Yeah. Um. Okay. So there, there's. I think there's two hard drives there. Right, one right there and one right there. So those are where your hard drives are. This helps you with anything. Sometimes it takes minutes. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, so here, here comes the crash. Yeah, so F so F12 is bringing up the boot menu. Uh, in order to set it to to boot to a particular drive, if you go into that enter setup there on the on the bottom of that screen, you can find a boot uh, boot location or a location in there that says boot, and that will allow you to uh, to select or put in the correct order um, the drive you actually want to boot to. Okay, you're 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 calling the the Windows logo the three windows. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Well, that's just it failing to boot to Windows. So, what do you, which which choice do you make in order to boot into Windows?
I've tried reinstalling Windows through like the actual like setup application when they told me that was okay. And it still doesn't like it. It, it, won't, it won't let me pick the hard drive, so I've since been kinda of stuck with it. Okay, so it looks like it's going to boot into Windows now. So which one did you choose? So the issue we had with my boot when I was doing uh, F12. And here comes the Windows. Okay. Well, whichever one you, whichever one boots into Windows that you choose on the screen, when you go into the setup by choosing that last option, Enter Setup, um, you would go to the boot section and then choose um, that one to be the primary. And it's usually you move the one you want to boot first um, up to the top of the list, and then it'll just by default choose that one on on Power Up and just go into Windows. I, I see what you mean now about the three windows. What I was thinking is you were getting um, three windows boot options, like one on top of the other. But no, it, when, when you said three windows, you just, you're just you just saying it has the windows logo quickly three times. That's pretty much just a monitor talking. There's no connection between That's all about it. Okay. Yeah, so that's Mm-hmm. Oh, no, quality's good. That shimmery effect on monitor, I have the same thing with one of my monitors, and I think it's just the monitor tech, and uh, the cameras just don't like it. <laughs> Okay, so you got a, a 580 for your graphics card. So yeah, the, the way you describe it crashing, most likely it is the motherboard. Um, and the one the, the motherboard that I showed you the other day, I, I think you wrote down the model number, and that one will uh, will be compatible with, with the CPU and the RAM and the graphics card and all that. It's just a matter of uh, actually doing the swap. Um, and I understand it's, uh, it's, it's daunting looking at that, you know, trying to... Uh, imagine how it comes out but if you go back and, and watch some of my videos um, on replacing motherboards or building computers you'll watch several of those and you'll you'll pick up you know how, how things go together and of course not just my stuff there's there's tons of uh, creators on YouTube that show how to do these things all right Dell G3 what are you doing <laughs> it's still decrypting. It, it, yeah, it's going to be all night. No, but thanks for sending the video. I guess it probably didn't play because I try. I was trying to play it on my phone, and my phone doesn't know how to how to open a, a MOV file. Oh well, movies and TV has uh, quite a few of my videos listed here. Those are actually on my drive, though. All right, cool. Do you do you have the um do you have that model number for the the one on Amazon I pointed out? If not, I can probably find it again. 
But for 80 bucks, that motherboard will support every um, Ryzen processor. It's freaking awesome. And it's made by Asus. I mean, it's it's really good for 80 bucks. It's crazy. Okay, good. You put it in your cart. It's a good place for it to be. All right, but yeah, let's uh, let's end the stream there. Um, I'll finish up this uh, this Dell um, G three thirty five hundred probably tomorrow. May or may not stream that. If I've got something else to show, also, I'll definitely stream it and then just have that in the background while I work on whatever else I'm doing. But at the moment, I can't think of anything that I would have to show. I've got a I've got a um, a client I'm taking a few computers down to in B Caves about 45 minutes away at noon um, and then I'm not sure what I'm doing the rest of the day all right but yeah thanks uh, thanks everybody for coming and chatting and stuff y'all have a good day